afternoon guys we're gonna go on a walk uh, we're going to look for some muggins just in case I find any I'm going to show you what they look like and why they're still in the ground and they are hard to spot sometimes um, because they they are camouflaged they look like their surroundings of course today is Earth Day that's why we are going on this walk looking for muggins and that's why I'm doing this so this is going to be a short little video that we'll be putting up later um, but uh, let's see I'm gonna walk you out here for a moment as soon as everybody gets ready we'll do this little walk I won't be running the camera the whole entire time on the walk because um, it's hard to walk and look but I'll stop along the way but I do want to show you um, the the orchard from this point um, and remember we're expanding it so I'm gonna turn it around and show you I'm just gonna pan around I guess and show you the orchard so berry vines the fence is hot so I'm not getting next to it um, berry vines grape vines apple trees peaches I'll talk about the peaches here in a moment and you can see some heifers sitting out there in part of what will be my orchard later on so that's that I'm going to uh, shut this off for a moment and I'll bring it back up when I find a mushroom Okay guys, I'm showing you some uh, some of my favorite ground covering. It's called ground pine and it is, I'm going to get a close-up look and you'll see why it's called ground pine. It's called ground because it's on the ground, but it looks, has needles almost like a pine tree. Pretty cool stuff. Anyways, where it's moist and cool, it covers the ground and it's over on this side of the hill just in this one spot though it's not in any other spot uh, pretty cool stuff though okay guys here are our muggins uh, these are dried out um, and I'm gonna go pick some that are not so we're gonna leave those because uh, spores and they come up from spores so we're just leaving those to seed to come up from the spores so we'll have some next year now these two I'm getting these two I'm getting ready to pick so I'm just gonna bend down and I'm not pulling them up by the roots I'm gonna pinch them off at the stem right down below the cap and then that's what they look like and you know they're morels when they have the spine going up and down and little divisions pretty pretty cool anyways picked those we're gonna go look for some more so I want to talk about this plant right here people call it the Indian cabbage I'm not for sure what the correct name of it is but if you look up plants that you could use or things you can use in place of toilet paper this is one of those that come up and I'll show you why so I'm gonna get down on it and the leaves are very nice and soft feeling um, both front and back they have a little bit of uh, and if you can see it a little bit of hair on them but they are soft enough if you need to if you're out in the woods and you need to wipe your bottom it might be a pretty good see the little white hairs on them this would probably make an excellent thing if you needed to um, so that's that plant and I want to show you another plant when I'm out in the woods I usually look and I'm looking for mushrooms as I go guys but there's a couple of things that I look for when I'm taking walks my husband would like for me to go on more walks than what I do but there's a couple of plants that I look for and one of them happens to be my favorite berry vine and here they are, or here are some of them. I've been noticing them as I come up through here. Um, these are, I'm gonna let you get a close up. These are wine berry vines. The vine itself is red with a lot of little stickly little prickles on them. Uh, let me see if I can get you a good picture of the vine. I'm not for sure about this. Nope, it's not coming in. Maybe right. Nah, it's not doing too well. 
Anyways, the vine is very sticky and prickly. And there it is. There's you a good picture of it. Um, but that is a wineberry vine. So they're very distinct when you're out taking walks. Um, but they have some of the best berries on them. It's called little wine berries. They're a little round, reddish wine color berry. And they ripen about the time wild blackberries start getting ripe. Um, but they are my favorite berry if I had to choose. So let's talk about the bag that we hunt mushrooms in. This is part of Rudy's turkey mask thing, but I put a little hair bow rubber band thing, ponytail holder at the bottom of it and took the bottom and wrapped it up so nothing would fall out. But you need to carry a bag that is mesh covered or with holes in it because once you pick the mushrooms and you're walking along and they're getting shook, they are releasing the spores that create new mushrooms, which is what you want to do as you walk. So remember when you go out, take your mesh bag with you so you can release the spores as you walk and that will guarantee, hopefully, some success next year. So here's the little plant that I sometimes get excited over and I'm not for sure exactly what it's called but it comes up about the same time as muggins so when you see these start popping up that means it's muggin season also um, and they do trick me once in a while and I get excited but do not pick them do not eat them these also come up about the same time as mushrooms they're called fiddlehead ferns and they start very closed up and then they start unrolling and they open up but that's what these are truly called or fiddlehead ferns and that's my dog right there with us say hi Hersh that's Hershey also another plant that comes up during the same time is called a mayapple and when you see these start poking up it's mushroom time too uh, when they grow big they produce something a little bit green fruit and that's why it's called a mayapple it's a little round thing looks like a little small apple but when you start see these start coming up around in the woods it's mugging time too here's another group of those um, we call them Christmas trees but that's not the correct name of them but they usually grow in clumps like this and those are the ones that trick me sometimes these are called fiddlehead ferns because if you look at the top of them, it's shaped like the top of a fiddle or a violin. The curve of it comes around just like the wood working on a violin. Okay guys, this is the fox's lair. There are four baby pups or kits down in there and a mama either in there or out hunting. And I'm pretty sure they got my last Americana some at some point between yesterday and today and so i'm sure she's down there being feasted upon say hello to our five new heifers aren't they pretty say hi guys you're standing there so nice yes you are or girls as the case may be so my pear tree that was in bloom and i showed you on a walk earlier um the cold weather, freezes, frost, uh, they had set many pairs, but the frost and the freezes turned them black and they're dropping off. There's only a few still on the tree and the rest of them look like this. Very sad, but that's what happens and you just go with it. I'm going to take you down and show you my peach trees. So we're in the orchard now, and it is fenced in, like I said, because of the deer and the cows. But uh, the, pear, uh, the apple trees are blooming. Um, they may make it, waiting to see. The grapevines are just now starting to put out their leaves, so they'll be fine. 
The peach trees, on the other hand, will not. They were blooming, full bloom, beautiful peach tree blooms when the cold weather hit. And what happens when it frosts and freezes? I'm not for sure if I can get a good picture, but all the blooms, they just die and fall off. Um, and they were loaded too. So it's not gonna be a pear year, nor will it be a peach year. Um, maybe an apple year. Last year was an apple year. Um, it was also a peach and pear year last year. But this year, it may be a little bit different. But the apples seem to be holding on. We'll see what happens. See how pretty they are? And there's some little apples forming on the base. Not all will make apples. Some will fall off, but some of them will. But you can see right at the base on some of them, if the base is swollen, it's going to form an apple, usually. So excited about the apples. That's it for the outside tour. And I'll post this and try to get it up. And you guys have a good evening. Remember, it's Earth Day. Get out and do something.